Hey guys, welcome back to Country Intelligent, and today we are going to be replacing a Dusk Till Dawn line. Alright, it's uh, it's fairly simple. Uh, we are here at the church again. It's pretty fun, I like working out here. It's pretty peaceful. So, um, that is our light that we are replacing today. It's a Dusk Till Dawn light. It's got a photo controller up here, right there at the top. And uh, what that does is it reads this, it it sees that there's sunlight, and then touch turns the light off. And whenever it's nighttime, the light comes on. Okay, it's not working. Uh, there's a few things that could be wrong with it, but we are just going to go ahead and replace it today. We have a replacement uh, light fixture, and it's gonna work out just fine. Um, so let's go ahead and get up there and show you what we're looking at. All right, so right here is our photo controller. We're just gonna go ahead and take that off the top there. You know, just kind of twist it to the left, wiggle it out. There it is, comes right off. It's fairly easy, it's got three prongs, you know. So, and it's probably the ground or neutral. And then you got power, power. So this is a JL two A two zero two A. It's a eighteen hundred tungsten bulb for a one hundred twenty volt AC, fifty hertz, fifty to sixty hertz. So it's pretty good. I'm thinking that the plastic here is just kind of uh, old and uh, faded so it's not reading that the sun is out and the sun's not out you know so it's just not working right so we're gonna go ahead and take it off take this whole thing off here is the uh, mounting bolts there's one two and then there's one back here let's see if we can get around to see that <coughs> right there Yep, that guy, right there. So, we're, that's, uh, those are the three mounting bolts. Those are fairly easy to take off. They look like they're, uh, 9 sixteenths or maybe a half inch. So, here we go. This down here is where the electricity comes in through, goes into there. And this is a constant power. There's no switch to this because the switch is up here with the uh, photo controller. So, what we need to do before we go to unhook this at all, we need to go and find the breaker box. Okay, and we need to turn off the breaker for this because it is a hot wire and. Uh, we don't want to get shocked. Safety first, guys. Always, always, always. Safety first. It does not matter what you're doing. Safety first. So we're dealing with 120 volts of uh, AC. You know, AC stands for alternating current. Uh, that just means that the current moves back and forth instead of being a direct straight path uh like a dc current a direct current so we're dealing with ac current this is uh, some pretty dangerous stuff always be very very safe and whenever you uh, go to do something like this or any light any receptacle anything you replace electrically you need to make sure that you turn off the breaker you make sure that there's no power to that circuit all right so let's go ahead and uh get inside and try and find our breaker box all right so here's a breaker box this is uh labeled panel one all right so uh if we go and find what we're looking for in here then uh, we are going to have to find another panel i'm not sure where the other one is at but uh, i'm just going to open that up right there and um all right so here's all our breakers you know odds evens just like that odds evens okay now this is our uh this is our uh 
this is our map or guide what tells us what we're doing our uh, legend you know so we're looking for uh, something that has to do with outside okay so that's the water heater it's your range kitchen plug washer back inside AC kitchen um, front AC front restroom south wall outside right here number eight you see that number eight so we're gonna go over here find number eight so number eight and six because this is a double pole breaker and you can tell because it's the size of two regular breakers most of these are all double pole except for this whole side right here these are all single pole um, I don't know if you can read it on there but this says 60 amps there it is there's the autofocus it kind of kicked in a little bit that says 60 amps right there so anyway you can't really see it all right so six and eight six and eight front ac condenser outside so we're gonna go ahead and turn that off okay that'll turn off the uh circuit that we're looking for hopefully now what we need to do is get our volt our voltmeter and uh, go test it so let's go ahead and do that all right so we're back at our light and what we need to do is get into this uh, the power kit right here where it, the power input all right so there's two Phillips screws here and here okay a lot of times you're gonna either be dealing with Phillips or flathead whenever you're working with electricity um, it's just that way okay so we're just gonna go ahead and unscrew it like that Take the other one out. Woohoo! Yay! Screw, 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 screw. screw. Alright, here we go. So we got the screw done out. Stick our screwdriver right inside of our ladder so we don't lose it. Alright. Pull down our kit here. Ooh. That might be why it's not working. No. I'm just joking. Okay. So, what we have here is a spider web. Holy, that's a scary looking spider. Ah, I'm just playing. All right, so, check this out, guys. So, what we're gonna do is turn it like this so you can get your prongs for your voltmeter inside there. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull our voltmeter out. We're going to turn it. We're going to turn it to AC right there. The wavy line. The wavy line. AC voltage. And turn on. Okay. Now, we're going to take our black probe, our common, and put it to the ground right there, okay?
put it to the common. All right, then you're gonna take your red probe and put it inside there. And it still has voltage. You heard that beep? That means it still has voltage. It's reading at 120. Let's see if I can hold this together here. Let's see if I can get this going again so y'all can see that. That's just on the that's just on the hot. So that's 10 volts without completing the circuit. So that's that's a uh, pretty good sign that it's still on. Go ahead and There it is. 121 for 120. So this circuit is still on. We need to find the other breaker panel and turn this circuit off. I have a suspicion that we might be able to find it outside. So let's go ahead and get down and look for it. So, all right. So there's two panels. We, we, we realized that from earlier from reading panel one and reading through the legend. So we're gonna go ahead and um, see panel one. And then on our legend, we have main panel number two. Instead of trying to find the breaker that matches our dusk till dawn light on panel two, or even just trying to find panel two for that matter, we're just gonna cut power to it entirely. And as you can tell, that turned off the power in here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get started. I feel like that might have been it. We're going to go ahead and test it and see what happens. Okay, we're back up here. We got our voltmeter, our handy dandy voltmeter. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, plug it in, see what happens. Again, plug into the nice and tight and then hit the green the ground or you can touch the metal because it's grounded to the metal and as you can see there is no voltage okay none whatsoever there's 0 0.012 volts so that's not that's that's just a residual voltage and you're not gonna get harm from that. So that's good. All right, when, whenever we get this down, I'll show you how to ohm it out and everything else. So, uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, unwire this. So, how was y'all's day? All right, well, here we go, this is pretty much unwired okay and then uh, you do the ground which as you can see is a uh, that bug out of my way is a uh, Phillips right there so we're going to go ahead and take our handy dandy Phillips that we dropped in our ladder earlier and uh, go ahead and undo this. There it is. Pulled up. Gonna just get that ground right off of there. There it is. We are 
unhooked and clear. So obviously, there is no breaking power or breaking the wire in this circuit. Our problem is in neither the light or our photo controller, which is dropped to the ground. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put y'all down. And uh, like I said, the way to dismount this is here and here. I'm gonna go ahead and put y'all down and. Uh, and there's a third one here. I'm gonna put y'all down and I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. You know, it's fairly simple. It's been hanging on by a thread for a while now. So we're gonna go ahead and get this down and uh, see what's up.